what's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duel, so today we're doing some Yang Zing test hands. So I'm really excited for this for you guys, because this deck is actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Garland. And this deck is a super spicy build of Yang Zings. I have some absolutely crazy techs in this deck that I guarantee you guys will not see coming. And this deck is super fun to be able to play. So without further ado guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards, like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month you're a patron. And definitely give Garland some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So if you guys would like to check out the deck profile, as always, it is down in the description down below. But this deck is super, super spicy with some of the tech cards that I'm playing in this deck. Being able to summon off some absolutely crazy synchro monsters and with the release of the sword soul cards this deck actually is really crazy because some of the sword soul cards actually just work for worm monsters when you have a synchro monster on the field which is super helpful for this deck so let's go ahead and pile shovel the deck and then see what you can do because you guys know it's dad rule number one that we've got to pile shovel the deck so that we don't brick but this deck is absolutely crazy and super fun to be able to play because of the tech cards that I have in this deck. And this deck is just insane at summoning out all sorts of really cool Synchro monsters and makes great use of those Sword Soul cards that I've teched into the deck. But now that we got the deck pile shuffle, let's go ahead and give the deck a quick little shuffle and then see what we can do for our first test hand because this deck is really, really fun to be able to play. Let's go ahead and shuffle it up and then see what we can do. So we're going to go ahead and give the deck a quick little cut. And then we're going to go ahead and draw for our first hand. So we're going to draw to a copy of the Water Yang Zing, a copy of Primitive Planet. That is a Scareclaw card that you actually see in this deck, and there's a reason. A copy of the Wind Yang Zing, a copy of Vista Starfrost, which is the reason I'm even playing the copy of the Scareclaw Field Spell, the Primitive Planet. And then a copy of the Dark Yang Zing, or the Shadow of the Yang Zing. So what we're going to do with this very simple hand is we're going to go ahead and bait out an Ash Blossom. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the copy of the primitive planet because once you activate that copy of the primitive planet it's going to let you add from your deck to your hand a copy of Vissa Starfrost. Vissa Starfrost is the main like tech card that I'm playing in this deck which is the tech I was going to say that you guys were not going to see coming which is just absolutely crazy that you're playing a field spell just basically as a searcher for the deck. This deck plays a lot of searchers especially since all of your Yang Zings actually float into other Yang Zings when they get destroyed which is kind kind of cool about Vista Starfrost because it has a really awesome effect as a tuner that if you guys have not read this card there's the ability if this card is in your hand you can target one monster to control with a different type and attribute than this card and destroy that monster and if you do special summon this card that is a really good effect for Yang Zing because when they're destroyed by card effects you get to special summon another Yang Zing from the deck which is really easy to be able to synchro summon. So what we're going to do is go ahead and normal summon out the copy of the water Yang Zing. It could be any Yang Zing. It doesn't matter which one you normal summon to your field. It could be any of the Yang Zings that you play in the deck. It could be the wind one. It could be the fire one. Earth. Water. doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and then use the effect of the Vista Starfrost in our hand to be able to target the copy of our water Yang Zing pop it on our side of the field and then special summon out the copy of the Vista Starfrost. Which this card's effect is, is when this card you control is destroyed by battle or by card effect and sent to your grave, you can special summon a Yang Zing monster from your deck in attack position. Doesn't matter which one, just summons any Yang Zing that you want. So we're going to go ahead and special summon out the copy of the Fire Yang Zing. Now it could be any Yang Zing that you want to summon from the deck depending on the level of the Synchro monster you actually want to summon. If you want to go for a 10, you go ahead and summon the 4. If you want to summon summon out a seven you can summon out the wind one if you want to summon out with not this particular combo because we just destroyed the water one we're going to go ahead and special summon out the copy of the water one later with a different yang zing if you want to normal summon the wind one to go for an eight synchro and if you want to summon out a nine you can go ahead and summon out the copy of the earth one so depending on the level that you summon out depends on the different level that you can actually synchro summon for but i usually go in for the fire yang zing because when you synchro summon using your yang zing monsters it actually gives you a buff which is kind of cool for the synchro monster you summon so we're going to go ahead and synchro using these two cards in our hand to be able to summon out a copy of baron de fleur baron de fleur is really good in this particular situation 
situation because it's a walking negate in this deck while also gaining 500 attack points off your fire gang zing since you used it as a material to sink or summon this card so this card is actually at 3500 which is really cool so we're gonna go ahead and pass over to the opponent once they go in for their plays they're gonna do whatever they want to do against us but we do have the baron de fleur and then we're gonna draw for our next turn which is gonna be the earth yang zing which i'm actually gonna give the deck a quick little shuffle because i think i just sat those cards back on the top but let's go ahead and give the deck a quick little shuffle and see what we draw it doesn't really matter because i already have everything that i need in my hand and we're gonna draw to a copy of sword soul blackout now that's actually pretty good so let's go ahead and normal summon out the win yang zing use the effect of our visa star frost again to be able to pop it and then we're going to go ahead and special summon from the deck an additional yang zing which could be another one of the fire ones to go for a 10 since we have the sword soul blackout or we could actually go for a different play like going in for the water yang zing which is going to help us out even more to be able to go in for additional plays so you can go ahead and synchro these two together. And then once you synchro these two together, you can go in for a level eight, which can be our copy of the Sword Soul Chi Shao, which is a really, really good card to be able to summon. Or the Grand Ma Grandmaster is just really good to summon to the field because it's going to get you an additional play in the deck. Because at this point, we're going to go ahead and use the ability to search out our copy of Sword Soul Emergence. We can then use the Sword Soul Emergence since we control a Synchro Monster. We can actually search a Worm Monster from the deck, which is really cool because actually all of your Yang Zings are Worm, which is why the Sword Soul cards and the Yang Zings work so well together. So I'm actually going to search my one of in this deck copy of Long Yun. Long Yun is going to help us out a lot in this particular situation. So we're going to shuffle up the deck right here. And then once we do, we can use the effect of the Long Yun to discard our Shadow of the Yang Zing from our hand to the graveyard, which our copy of our uh, Grandmaster is actually immune to traps since we use the Water Yang Zing to actually summon it which is kind of cool so i'm gonna go ahead and special summon out the copy of long yun because i discarded a worm monster from the hand which is then going to generate a level four token on my side of the field then we're going to synchro for a 10 which the token is actually a tuner and we're going to synchro summon for the copy of the supreme sovereign which is going to do a 1200 burn damage to the opponent because of the long yun and then we're going to set the copy of blackout because at this point now we have the copy of blackout set with the copy of our supreme sovereign which is going to help us out a lot in the long run because the effect of this card is if it's going to be destroyed you can banish one card from your graveyard instead and if a card is banished except during the damage step then you can banish one card from your opponent's field and graveyard as well and with your copy of blackout you can also pop two cards on the field with this combo just like you do in sword soul which is really neat so you have this really neat play now this is a really easy combo to be able to pull off in the deck to get multiple synchro monsters on the field this card is at 35 this card is just basically having the ability that you're able to banish cards off the field and pop cards with blackout this card is a basically like an effect veiler which is kind of cool but getting these monsters on the field is super easy in the deck because depending on what you open up depends on the amount of synchro plays you can actually go into you do use up your normal summon in the deck to be able to summon out one of your yang zing monsters which is a little bit unfortunate but you have so many different plays that you can pull off in the deck by like searching out your copies of Long Yun to get you additional plays, then you can go in for additional cards in this deck. Super easy. So let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck again and see what we can do for another test hand because this deck is really, really insane. And you can go in for a lot of different plays with this setup. So let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck again and see what we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and draw into a copy of Vissa Starfrost, a copy of Vissa Starfrost, hopefully not all three, Ghost Ogre, a copy of Mo Yi, and finally Sword Soul Emergence. This is a little bit unfortunate because we don't actually have a Yang Zing in the hand, but we still have plenty of plays that we can go in for because of the copy of Mo Yi. So we're going to go ahead and normal summon out the copy of Mo Yi from our hand to our side of the field and reveal the copy of Sword Soul Emergence in our hand to be able to generate a token on the field. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and synchro these two monsters together, just like we do in Sword Soul for a copy of of our Chi Shao, which is really cool just to summon it to our side of the field. Because once you get this card out on the field, you're able to go chain link one, chain link two, 
to be able to search the deck for an additional sword soul card from our deck to our hand. But since we have emergence, we're not going to search out from our deck to our hand a copy of a monster. So we're going to search out the copy of the summit, or you can search out the copy of blackout if you're going to go ahead and search from the deck a copy of another card. Actually, let's go ahead and get the draw first and go chain link one, chain link two to be able to get the additional draw, which is going to be really important to be able to get that card. So let's go ahead and draw, which we're going to draw into the copy of a Yang Zing card, which is going to help us out next turn with the copy of the Vista Starfrost. That's what I really like about this deck is you have so many follow-up plays with this deck. Like as long as you have a Vista Starfrost that you can get to, which we play seven ways to get to it in the deck along, well, with them in the deck, you play three of the field spell, you play three Vista Starfrost, and then one copy of Terraforming. You have plenty of ways to get to it in this deck. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and use the copy of Chi Shao's effect to be able to search from our deck to our hand a copy of Blackout, which is going to help us out to be able to go in for more plays to this point i'm going to go ahead and use the effect of sword soul emergence which can search us a worm monster if we didn't have a yang zing in the hand which would help us out a lot but i'm actually going to search out the copy of long yun long yun will help us out actually if you don't search the copy of blackout and you step back and you actually search off the effect of the um long Yun or the copy of the Chi Shao, you actually would search from the deck to the hand a copy of our summit. You could go even further because it's a monster reborn. So let's actually search that card from our deck to our hand instead. Let's search that off the copy of the Chi Shao, and let's actually add this from deck to hand off the copy of Emergence. So we drew the copy of this card, the copy of the Darkness of the Yang Zing, off the copy of the Mo Yi. We got this off the copy of the Chi Shao, and then we got this from our deck to our hand off the copy of the Sword Soul Emergence. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and use the effect to be able to discard from our hand our Yang Zing monster. Monster, special summon this to our side of the field and special summon out a token then synchro summon for a level 12 or level uh, 10 so we're going to summon out a copy of baron de fleur baron de fleur will help us out a lot because it gives us an additional negate then we're going to go ahead and use summit on our side of the field to special summon back that yang zing that we discarded off the long yun which is why i actually searched the copy of summit to be able to go in for more plays so at this point now i have a copy of yang zing i can then use the visa star frost to be able to pop it on my side of the field which it has the ability just like all of your other yang zings and when this card is by battle by card effect and send to the grave you can special summon a yang zing from your deck in attack position some of them special summon in defense some of them special summon in attack so at this point you can go ahead and pick and choose which one you actually want to go for it's totally up to you guys which one you want to summon from the deck you can actually really easily make psychic end punisher which is kind of cool with this deck because all you have to do with that particular play is summon out from your deck a copy of the shadow of the yang zing which is your level five which is kind of neat because then you can go in for more plays. So this is actually going to pop it, special summon out the copy of the Visa, special summon out the copy of the Shadow off the copy of Your Darkness, and then synchro these two together for a level 11. So now you have this particular field set up on the very first turn, which is just absolutely crazy. So let's go ahead and do another test hand and see what we can do for the next one. If you draw for next turn, you're going to draw into another Yang Zing. So you can then normal summon, pop, special, special summon a Yang Zing from the deck, and then go for any synchro play that you want, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and go in for another one and see what we can do for another play. So let's go ahead and shuffle it up and see what we can do. Because this deck is really fun. This deck is super cool, which you can pull off and it's just really cool to be able to mix the sword souls with the copies of the yang zings kind of like you do a little bit because i only play three main deck sword soul monsters which is one each of taiye long yun and mo yi and then you basically just play a bunch of yang zings with your vista star frost and wait to get to it if you guys would like to check out the deck profile as always it's down in the description down below but let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do for the next test hand so we're gonna go ahead and shuffle it up and let's see what we can draw into. Because we have some really, really insane plays that we can do in this deck. So, I'm going to draw in a copy of Primitive Planet. A copy of Pot of Desires. Now, that's really good. A copy of the Primitive Planet. 
a Yang Zing monster, and an infinite impermanent. So we have a hand trap, we have a copy of Vista Starfrost, we have a special summon, and we have a copy of our Pot of Desires to get us an additional two cards to hand. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the copy of the Primitive Planet to get us from our deck to our hand a copy of Vista Starfrost. You want to go ahead and get to that card as quickly as possible so you can go in for your plays. So now at this point, we're going to go ahead and normal summon out to our side of the field our copy of our Yang Zing and pop it with the copy of Vista Starfrost, which is going to get us a special summon. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and special summon out the Fire Yang Zing because I actually want to go in for a copy. Do I want to summon out the Fire or the Water? Because I can get a search off the copy, though I'll search the Water. I'll go ahead and special summon out the Water because it'll get me a search in the long run, which will help me out to get another monster on the field. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and synchro these two together. And once we go ahead and synchro these together, that's what's really cool. Depending on the situation and what you feel like you have in your hand, you can go for different plays. But I'm going to go ahead and synchro for a copy of the Grandmaster, which is going to give me an additional search from the deck. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and search from my deck to my hand a copy of the Sword Soul Summit, which is the Monster Reborn, to get an additional Yang Zing monster on my side of the field. Or actually let's go ahead and search out our copy of emergence let's search emergence because then we're going to activate the copy of emergence and then we're going to search from our deck to our hand a copy of our let's see where is he a copy of our long yun long yun is actually really good in the deck because if you can use the long yun to be able to summon out the supreme sovereign when you have desires on the field he'll go up to four thousand attack points and be dropping the opponent's monsters down by around a thousand attack points as well which is really neat so at this point i'm going to go ahead and use the copy of pot of desires which then we're going to go ahead and banish 10. so we're going to go ahead and banish our top 10 of our deck which is then going to give us an additional two to hand, which is going to be really helpful. So let's go ahead and draw the two, which is a copy of Terraforming and a Mo Yi, which is exactly what I needed to be able to discard for the copy of Long Yun. But let's go ahead and see what we actually banished off the copy desires. So we actually banished a copy of Vista Starfrost, a copy of Ash, a copy of Darkness, Water, uh, Infinite Impermanence, Taiye, Fire, Ash Blossom, Emergence, and our other copy of Primitive Planet, which means the copy of Terraforming is totally out of the game now. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and discard from my hand the copy of Mogi, special summon out the copy of Long Yun, special summon out the token, and then synchro summon these two together for a copy of our Supreme Sovereign, which is going to be really helpful to get on our side of the field because now he's actually gaining an additional thousand attack points because you do have 10 banished cards which is really neat so at this point we're going to go ahead and set the copy of infinite impermanence and pass over to the opponent and once we do pass over to the opponent we're going to have a negate on the field a negate set right here and we have the copy of the primitive planet to get us an additional search during the next turn so as long as this is a yang zing we're totally set up which it is so we're going to go ahead and activate our primitive planet over the copy of primitive planet to be able or uh yeah primitive planet to be able to add from our deck to our hand a copy of visa starfrost and then once we do, we can normal summon out the copy of our Yang Zing, pop it on the field, and then special summon out Vista Starfrost, which will get us an additional special summon from the deck of another Yang Zing monster, which depending on our life points at this point, we could summon out the copy of the Dark one if we want to summon out Psychic in Punisher. We could summon out the Fire one if we want to go for a copy of a Baron de Fleur. We could summon out a, or, or even a copy of um, a Supreme Sovereign or Sinister Sovereign, or we could just summon out a copy of the three if we want to go for a level nine, which is kind of cool as well, like a copy of Chi Win. So you have a lot of different plays in this particular hand that you can go for, but I'm going to go for the level four to be able to go in for more plays. I usually would summon out the copy of Baxi at this point, but we don't actually have another water one because we banished them off the copy of the... We actually banished them for the copy of Desires, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's totally fine. So let's go ahead and synchro summon these two together for another 10, which is going to help us out a lot to go for a 10, like a copy of the Sinister Sovereign, which is going to get us all three of our Sword Soul monsters on our side of the field, which is just super, super cool. 
because now we have all three of them on the field at once. So let's go ahead and do one more test hand and see what we can do for our last test hand. But you can go in for other plays if you want to summon out the copy of the Baxia over the copy of the Grandmaster. You can do that, which is kind of neat for the deck as well, to be able to go for that card instead of the copy of the Grandmaster. But I just wanted to show you guys different levels that you could go for. It's totally dependent of what you want to summon in any given situation with the deck, which is kind of cool. So let's go ahead and shuffle up the deck and see what we can do for the last test hand, because this deck is really fun to be able to play and just goes in for all sorts of really awesome combos. So let's go ahead and see what we can do for this last test hand. So we're going to go ahead and draw for a copy of our uh, Win Yang Zing, a copy of the Darkness Yang Zing, a copy of our Earth a copy of Long Yun, and finally a Sword Soul Emergence. So this is where the copies of the Yang Zings will really come into play with the copy of our Darkness in our hand. So I'm actually going to normal summon it out to my side of the field, which is going to help us out a lot because it's actually a dark tuner monster, which is really helpful to go in for a copy of Beals. So I'm going to use this card's ability, and it has the ability that when you control this card, it's a battle by card effect, then you can special summon at a Yang Zing monster from your deck and attack position, except another copy of this card. And if there is no other card on your side of the field, you can send two Yang Zing cards from your hand to the grave, and then special summon a Yang Zing monster with zero attack, and a Yang Zing monster with zero defense from your deck, but banish them during the end phase. So I'm going to go ahead and send these two Yang Zings from my hand to the graveyard, and once I do, I'm I'm going to special summon out the copy of the fire yang zing which is going to get us a six play and then i'm also going to special summon out from the deck a two which is going to be another play on our side of the field which is going to help us out a lot now i'm then going to use the effects of the sword soul emergence which you could have used first to be able to bait an ash blossom but it's totally up to you guys if you want to go that route i'm just going to get a normal summon from the deck like a copy of mo yi because i'm going to discard it from my hand to the grave to be able to summon out the copy of my long yun but this time i'm going to go ahead and synchro all of these together and we're going to summon out a copy of beals now beals is really good in this particular situation because now it's immune to traps and it's up by 500 attack points can't be destroyed by battle can't be destroyed by card effects and it's immune to traps which is really insane and now at this point we're going to go ahead and discard the moji special summon out the copy of long yun get us a token synchro summon for a 10 and we're going to summon out an additional monster to our side of the field like a copy of baron de fleur to protect the beals from anything that it can't protect itself from which is kind of cool so at this point you have two extremely powerful synchro monsters on your side of the field and if we top deck we're just going to top deck into a copy of the earth yang zing which we could just normal summon out to our side of the field and keep pushing with these cards which is going to help us out in a long run for this deck which is really cool because yang zing really goes into the grind game which is kind of cool because they can tag out for one another when they get destroyed by battle or by card effect which is kind of cool so let's go ahead and just give the deck a quick little shuffle take a look at one last test hand for the deck and see what we can do for one last one because as you guys can see this deck is super consistent. If you draw into the copy of the Darkness plus any two Yang Zings, you're going to get a playoff. If you draw into Vista Starfrost, you're going to get a playoff. But let's go ahead and do one last one just to make sure that you guys have it for this deck. So we're going to go ahead and draw into the copy of the Fire Yang Zing, Desires, the Wind Yang Zing, Sword Soul Blackout and a copy of Primitive Planet. This is a perfect example of a great hand. So we're gonna go ahead and activate the copy of the Field Spell, grab from our deck to our hand, which we have the other copies of Emergence on the bottom of the deck. Go ahead and grab Vista Starfrost, normal summon out the copy of the Fire One, pop it on our side of the field, summon out the copy of the Vista Starfrost, special summon from our deck a copy of our Water Yang Zing, and then once we do, we can go in for an eight play if you wanna go for an eight instead, which is gonna be really nice, depending on if you're going first or second, depends on what you go for. If you're going second, you can make the copy of the Baxia, which one is sync or something, you can target cards on the field up to the different attributes use of Worm Monsters used for this card sync or something, which will get you a balance of one card, which is pretty good to get a bounce on your side of the field or you can even go in for a dragite which will get you a uh, spell or trap negate which is really neat or a copy of draco berserker that's immune to traps which is kind of cool so you can just summon out the draco berserker if you want to go in for a push or if you want to get a search you can go in for the copy of the chi shao which will get us a search from the deck of a copy of the sword soul emergence which then we can use to be able to grab Long Yoon like we did before to be able to go in for those plays. I love grabbing Long Yoon in the deck, especially since I get to discard one of the Yang Zing monsters to the grave to get an additional play. So I'm gonna go ahead and discard that card from my hand, 
special summon out that token, and then synchro these two together. And whenever I have the copy of Blackout in the hand, I never go for Baron de Fleur. I always go for the Supreme Sovereign because Blackout will go with this card and get rid of three cards on the field and one card from your opponent's graveyard, which is really good. So we can go ahead and set that card to the field, activate Desires, give the deck a quick shuffle, and go ahead and banish 10. So we're going to go ahead and banish 10 right there, and then draw two, which is going to get us a Chi Win and a copy of the Darkness Yang Zing or the Shadow of the Yang Zing, which isn't going to help us all that much with this particular hand, but we can go in for some additional plays on the next turn, which we did banish a bunch of copies of Ash Blossom, but that's not too bad in this particular situation because we're already pretty much set up on the field. But now we have the copy of the Chi Win, which we can pass over to the opponent, and we're going to go ahead and draw for next turn, which is a copy of the Dark Yang Zing. At this point, you can normal summon out this card and synchro these two together for a copy of our a copy of Chao Fang. Chao Fang is really good to be able to summon to the field with this particular situation because with the copy of Chao Fang, now you have the ability to be able to stop the opponent from using monsters that are light, which is really cool since we did use a light Yang Zing monster to summon it, which is kind of cool. You also have the copy of the Supreme Sovereign with the blackout to be able to banish a card on the field and your opponent's hand or opponent's graveyard and then to pop two on the field as well, which is kind of cool. You can also normal summon this card out later on if you want to, if you want to pop something, is depending on what you draw into is going to get you more plays. But I think that's going to do it for this one, guys, because this deck is just really fun to be able to play. It plays similarly to Sword Soul, but it's really cool because you can mix in cards like Vista Starfrost in the deck, which you guys want to check out the deck profile, definitely do so down in the description down below. I'm really glad that Garland actually suggested this one, because this deck is fun like it's really cool to be able to put this card in this card is exactly what yang zing needed and i'm really sad that it's not a part of the yang zing archetype but it's still really good in the deck like it helps out the deck so much to go in for so many different plays and then being able to use all of those different sword soul synchro monsters in the deck because they are worm monsters is just really really good this card is actually going better second which is why i didn't summon it but you can summon it against the opponent all the time and help you out a lot so that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell on there so you can come part of the notification squad. And definitely check out that deck down in the description down below. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.